Yo, what's going on guys? Surfer FN here and today we are going to be going over how you guys can go ahead and get performance mode on Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 3. We're going to be going over the way you guys can go ahead and get performance mode on console. It's going to be absolutely insane and make sure you guys do stay until the end of the video. And of course guys, make sure you have dropped a like and subscribe. I would appreciate that so so much and as well guys if you didn't already know i am gifting all a ton of my subscribers the brand new battle pass as well as anything they do want inside of the fortnite item shop and all you guys need to do to go ahead and get that is just drop a like subscribe and of course let me know what you would like to be gifted here inside of the fortnite item shop but yeah guys without further ado we are going to be going into my fortnite creative island we'll be showing you performance mode and then we'll be going over how you guys can go ahead and get performance mode on console here inside of fortnite it is absolutely insane and as i said make sure you guys do drop a like and subscribe and make sure you've done all of that but yeah so we're gonna go down here and as you guys can see we do have the performance mode walls and the performance mode walls look very very different than a normal one if you don't play performance mode you'll know what i'm talking about um and you'll obviously realize that there is a big difference or even if you just watch people on YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, whatever, and you see that they uh, play on normal mode, you'll know that it looks extremely different. So guys, if we go down here, as you guys can see right now, we have got all of our uh, performance mode builds. So this is what a performance mode wall looks like. Um, when you're holding a note, it looks like this, and it's basically a lot lighter. And it basically looks like more like uh, mobile builds, basically. So that's what a performance mode wall actually will go ahead and look like. A brick wall looks like this when you're holding it out, then when you place it, it will look like that on performance mode. So, it takes exactly, obviously, same time to build everything like that. It just will look a little bit different. Personally, I don't even play on performance mode, uh, but I do really like it. Only reason why I've noticed I don't is just so I can get better recording quality on video. And then, um, of course, guys... That is what the metal wall is going to look like on performance mode. So there's just not really any animations or like any uh, over effects on anything. Kind of just like the builds. Like watch the metal builds will kind of just like be there. Yeah, see they just kind of appear. They don't like go on because uh, when you're on normal mode they will basically go on. And the reason why um, you may be wondering like why would I even want to use performance mode. The reason why is because it will basically better all of your FPS and if you're on PS4, PS5, it'll make sure that you guys can go ahead and get a steady 60 or 120 FPS or if you're on the Xbox, uh, whether it's the new one or the old one, it'll make sure that you guys can keep a steady FPS and keep the highest FPS possible and it's especially very, very helpful if you're a comp player or you just don't really have that good of a monitor or TV because it will just make your game look so much better and I know for you guys that are on console most likely watching this video it is actually very very tough to play um it is really really tough to play without uh performance mode because the shadows on console are really bad and it is really really hard to see so fortunately we do have a fix and i'll be going over the best settings so you guys can basically go ahead and get performance mode on console in fortnite chapter 3 season 2 of course guys as i said make sure you do drop a like and subscribe that'd be greatly appreciated and yeah but yeah guys so basically obviously this is what performance mode is going to look like and now we are going to take a look into our settings here and we're going to be showing you guys the best way to go ahead and do it on console because for some reason console is extremely limited with the settings it can pick you can't really turn off shadows or anything so obviously i'm on a pc right now and if we go into my settings right here it's absolutely insane like um I have less options on here. Of course, I can make my textures like epic right now. They're on low. I don't really know uh, what that will actually. It doesn't look like it really changes much. Um, but yeah, basically, guys, with that, um, I have all these options on PC performance mode. But if you're not on performance mode on uh, console or whatever, it is going to look so much worse. And the reason why is Fortnite uh, on console, they max out the settings for some reason. There's no real reason why to do that. But we're going to turn my FPS down to 60. Oh, uh, no, let's make it 120 so it's like I'm on a next-gen console. And basically, here's what you guys are going to want to do. Go into your guys' Fortnite settings on the console you're playing on. And make sure you guys do have your FPS turned up to max. So if you're playing on a PlayStation 5 or the new Xbox, make sure you have it turned on to 120. 
20 or if you guys are just playing on an old gen console make sure that you guys have your fps on 60 because the amount of times i've seen people have their fps on 30 when it could be running double that is absolutely insane so make sure that you do have your fps maxed out and your frame rate limit is what it's going to be called make sure you have that maxed out and of course guys if you guys can see you have any graphics quality or graphic settings make sure that you're changing these one of the big things that console players are always complaining about, which I totally understand, is actually that it's very, very hard to see. Um, and what you're going to want to do is brighten, make your brightness max, make your colorblind mode max, and as you guys can see, Triton Ope is the highest one. So if you go to 150 brightness and Triton Ope settings, which you can do on console, it'll make your game so much brighter. And you might be wondering, like, what is the point of that? Basically, guys, on console, um, your shadows... Um, cannot be your shadows cannot be turned off meaning that in the nighttime the game is going to be impossible to see especially if you're late game and the storms near you it's so hard to play and it's such a struggle to go and play on console so you guys are going to make sure you want to have your brightness set to the max as well as all of those other settings so yeah guys once you've gone ahead and done that max out your fps and put up your brightness it's going to be running the best of its ability and it is going to make it look as good as it can for you guys because look at how low like if i put it this low this is kind of what it's going to look like for console so you guys are going to want to make sure if your fps maxed out and you guys are going to be want to be on some kind of perf uh some kind of colorblind setting it may look kind of different and if you don't like it you don't like it you don't need to use any of these steps by any means but if you are wanting the best performance on Fortnite console, definitely think about going ahead and doing some of these settings. But I'm going to turn that back to 100. But yeah, guys, once you guys have done all of those things, you should be running your Fortnite game to the best of your ability on console. And it will feel the most like performance mode without it, of course actually being performance mode because unfortunately as of right now fortnite hasn't officially added performance mode on console but there is workarounds obviously like this to go ahead and basically get performance mode so it's absolutely insane make sure you guys do drop a like on this video if you did appreciate it and as well guys as i said i do gift my subscribers all the time here on the channel so if you would like to receive a free gift from me here inside of fortnite all you need to do is just drop a like subscribe and let me know what you would like to be gifted here inside of the fortnite item shop or if you would like to be gifted the brand new chapter 2 season 3 battle pass but yeah guys that's gonna be all for today i hope you did enjoy this video and i hope to see you in the next one i posted a ton of videos about this season and a bunch of different things so definitely go ahead and check those out if you're wanting to start this new season off with a bang get a bunch of levels get some free skins v bucks and everything like that but yeah guys that basically is gonna be all for today's video let me know what you thought of it let me know what you'd rate this new season out of 10 that's gonna be all though guys